is not the rich to be getting richer and the poor getting poorer. That is not the principle of God. Whatever you have in your hand, it belongs to somebody. God has given you that one so that you can help your neighbor, so that you can help your brother, so that you can help your uncle, so that you can help your auntie. That is the principle of God. The principle of the world will tell you the rich will get richer and the poor will get poorer. But the principle of God is I am giving you this uh, so that you can raise nations, uh, so that you can raise men. Uh, the Bible says you are a royal, royal priesthood, a holy nation. Uh, I am blessing you so that you can raise a holy nation. I am blessing you so that you can bless your generation. I am blessing you so that you can bless the people after you. I am blessing you so that you can bless your grandchildren. God told Abraham, Abraham, I will bless you. And every nation that is connected to you, that nation will be blessed. God did not told, did not tell Abraham that Abraham, I will bless you. And when I bless you, it is for you alone and your family. That was not what God told Abraham. But God told Abraham, in you all nations shall be blessed. In your seed all nations shall be blessed. In your seed all children shall be blessed. In your children everybody will be blessed. That is what God told Abraham. God did not tell Abraham, I am blessing you alone. And that blessing that not belongs to you. God said, when I bless you, it is for everybody. When I bless you, it is for the nations around you. When I bless you, in your blessing, Abraham, all nations shall be blessed. That is why I am a child of God. And that is why I am not an Israelist. I am not a Hebrew man. But I can boldly say, I am enjoying the blessings of Abraham. We pray and we say, let the blessings of Abraham come to pass in our life. Why did you say, let the blessings of Abraham so come to pass in your life because God did not give that blessing and load it unto Abraham God gave that blessing unto the generations of Abraham and unto every man and unto every nation that will be connected into the leaves of Abraham that is where God gave unto them so you see let's continue and see something Let me read, let me take it from the beginning and then we'll understand something. He said, Beware, lest there be a wicked thought in your heart, saying the seventh year, the year of release is at hand, and your eyes be against your poor brother, and you give him nothing. And he cried out to the Lord against you. And it and and it what? And it become And it becomes sin. So I don't tell you, take the sin out. Look, when you are at a place surrounded by poor people, sin is always there. When you are at a place surrounded by poor people, envy is there, jealousy is there, backbiting is there evil thought is there. Every evil thing that you can think is there. So God said, when you did not do this and your brother cry unto me and I hear it When he cried against you and I hear it, it will become sin in your midst. Last, I was, I was, I was learning and the Holy Ghost ministered something to me. And when I heard the thing, I was, I was shocked. And I said, eh? the Holy Ghost 
Jesus told me something. The Holy Ghost said, the most holy offering. You see, sometimes when you preach in some ways, people thought, I don't know, now where they say, yeah, they have their own mind. But the Holy Ghost told me, the most holy offering, the most, and he gave me some, some examples. He said, the most holy offering and the most respectable offering in the sight of God is the offering that is given to the high priest and the workers of the ministry. And I say, huh? Say, the most holy offering. So, like, how we celebrated at this birthday, the offerings, the gifts we gave to him, that is the most holy offering. And he said, the most holy of his what is gave to the high priest and to the workers of the ministry. The workers are the other pastors, the singers, the instrumentalists. Everybody, the ushers, everybody that have something to do in this house are the workers. So God told me, that is the most holy offering to give to them. And I was sitting down. And the Holy Ghost began to give me examples. The Holy Ghost said, it is good to give offering. When they are going to buy drums, it is good to give offering. Yes, it is a good offering. You have to give an offering. When the church says we are buying drums, it is a good offering. So you have to give. Then the Holy Ghost told me, let me tell you, it, it took my mind to something. I said, look, when you are praying the drums and the drum burst, would the drum cry that I buy a different one? When you are praying the drums in the church and the drum burst, would the drum cry and force you to buy a different one? I said, no. See, when you are preaching and your microphones and your speakers, all of them went off, would they cry to buy a different one? No. And the Holy Ghost told me, who has the brain and who has the knowledge to initiate that we should buy different drums? Is it not human being? I said, yes, it is human being. Then the Holy Ghost told me, if that human being go, goes hungry, will he have the sound mind to initiate? If that human being that has to negotiate that has to initiate. Does he have a sound mind? Does not feel okay? Would that person have the sound mind to initiate? I said no. And the Holy Ghost told me, this is one of the problem of life. This is one of the problem of life. So, if If and, and, and then the Holy Ghost set my mind to something, the Holy Ghost said, "Look at the, look at the people. Most of the time we criticize them. Look at the people that do pastors appreciation day, that do workers appreciation day, that look that 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 serve their man of God, that respect their man of God. Look at how they are growing." Just look at them. The people that respect their instrumentalists, respect their singers, respect their workers, respect the people who are in authority in the church. Look at how they are growing. When they put up people right now that pastors are preaching, they will be murmuring. When they put up people right now that give an offering so that they can give to to the workers that they, are, they, are, they, 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 they will come here before you clean the chest, do everything give something that they will give to you will talk I am not saying when you give to of when you give of other things it is not good though. but it is the same human being that you are denying that will go and carry the thing The Bible says, 
thou shalt not nuzzle an ox when that ox carry the corn. Don't prevent a, a horse from eating what he has carried. And that's what the horse goes to. So let's go. He said, when that man cry against you, and I hear it, it will be a sin among you. Let's go to the best day. He said, you shall surely give to him, and your heart should not be grieved when you give to him, because for this thing, the Lord your God will bless you. You see what I'm saying? He said, because for this thing, the Lord your God will bless you in all your works and in all and in all to which you put your hand. To this, let's move to the verse number 11. The verse number 11. For the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore, I command you, say, you shall open your hand wide. You shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor, and to your needy in your land. We will understand this one better. If, Rabbi, if you have Amplified Bible, go to the Amplified Bible and give me the same Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse number 4. And let's see something. He said, said the poor will not cease in your land. So you should do it to the poor. And let's see what that, that one says. Amplified Bible, if you have the Amplified Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse number 4. Let's read that then we just pray Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse number 4. So, the 15, verse number 11, says, The poor will not cease. You will have the poor always in your midst. So do it for them. But let's, look, let's look at the verse number 4. He said, But there will be no poor among you, for the Lord will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance to possess. So, but there will be no poor among you for the land. For There will be no poor among you for the Lord will bless you, sorry, for the Lord will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you as an inheritance to possess. So, somebody will say, this is a contradiction. Let me explain it. The other one, the same scripture, the verse number 15 said, the verse number 11 said, for the poor will be among you always. So do this for your poor brothers. And this one say, but there will be no poor among you. For the Lord will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance. Do you know what this means? This simply means that if I have and my brother doesn't have it means what my brother needs to make it, God has given it to me so if I am holding it I am calling the wrath of God because God has said there should be no poor man among you so if I have and my brother is not having and I am keeping it what I am simply saying that God, your, your, what you are saying should not come to pass. So God said, so, and what it means also is that as I am standing and this woman is sitting, if I am in the position, I, have to, I should be able to raise her to my level. Then she will also raise somebody to her level. Then she will also raise somebody to her level. So God is telling us that always there will be somebody among you that is sitting that is not to your level. But because there should, there should not be anybody that is sitting among you, you have to raise that person. Don't let that person be there. Sit down, please. 
whatever you have as a child of God, let me tell you this one. Let me tell you plain. Anything that you possess as a child of God does not belong to you. Whether money, whether clothing, whether car, it does not belong. Look, there is nothing that God is giving you to you to enjoy alone. No. So, if today you have it and you are enjoying alone, it means you are spending somebody's money. It doesn't matter you work for it, oh. Who do you have in this cigar? If today, some of us, eh? Some of us, look at, look at, some of us, look at the type of cream we are using. And look at the amount that we use in buying that cream. I am not saying don't use a good cream and don't use some amount to buy that cream. But look at the type of cream that we are using. And look at the, at the amount that we are using in buying that cream. And look at how your mother is hungry. Are you not ashamed? You have to be ashamed that you are using that type of phone and your mother goes angry.
Someone has lived more righteous than you. And now I worry on Niba. But I don't worry, you know. Why would I say five? Why are you 50? Is that person not playing his part than you? So in life, we live by grace. We don't live by the strength that you think you have. Because you don't possess any strength. The strength that you possess is from God. Someone, as I is your CEO, at the night, Simu, at the night, as she had it, when your first class, Obiso called this Coco Sahe on your first class. So I'm not saying don't study you. Someone steady throughout the night on your first class. Wanye Juma. Obisu one steady. Third class in Po on Dao. And then on your boss of a company. So life is by the is a, is, is, is a life of grace. Yes, play your part. Do what you are supposed to do. But don't depend on your strength. Don't depend on what you think you can do. Because the Bible said, it is not by chariots. It is not by horses. It is neither by my mind. And it's neither by my power. It is by the Spirit, says the Lord. So it means you can possess power and you can possess strength. But if there is no spirit, if there is no force that is backing that power and backing that strength, that strength is zero. SHS, but today we are big men. You can clap for Jesus. Today we are big men. By a moving, look, I am telling you the things of life so that you depend on God, not your strength. It is, yeah, it is true. You have to, you have to, you have to steady. You have to steady. You have to do everything as a man. You have to do everything as a lady. You have to, yes, you have to do it. You have to do everything that, that will make your life. What your parent has not done, you have to do it. You have to work hard as a man. But in working hard and in doing everything as a man, let it be at the back of your mind that it is grace that is pushing you. The very day you lost that sense, and think it is your strength. It is the day of your downfall. Satan in the kingdom of heaven, Lucifer, the translation of Lucifer is the morning star or the star of glory. So, in the kingdom of heaven, Lucifer was called the morning star. He is a star of glory. Lucifer is an archangel. He has command. He commands angel and they go. God has given him authority. That is why Satan has authority. God has given him authority. And that authority, God doesn't interfere. It's like God has put him in charge of something that he does not need the permission of God to execute them because God has given it to him that this thing, if you are going to do, don't even ask me, you can do it. Because that is what I do. It's like someone who Papa Katira will say, or ni or now the animal yard the bonya shiomu. It is our papa ni or now the animal yard the bonya. You don't need to call your father and tell your father. Me papa no me ni or now yard the bonya. Ube shiomu because he has given. So that is what God did to Lucifer. But when the God will die, because everyone was praising Lucifer, ne ni ni su ya de or tu numa hey. Otunuma, I don't know whether there are ladies in heaven. Otunuma, all the ladies bow, all the angels bow. 
Then Lucifer thought, I can be like God. The fact that you can preach and the fact that you can sing very well and the fact that you are rising does not mean you have arrived. Anytime you have the sense of I have arrived, arrogancy has set in and it will destroy you. Depend on God and believe in God. There are most of our great men who started from nowhere. Maybe for you, your parents has have it and you build upon it. And today you are at this level. But ask yourself, did your grandfather have it? If your grandfather have it, ask yourself, did your great grandfather have it? God picks somebody from the dust to start a generation. So, this is what the Bible is saying. You have to have this one at the back of your mind. That obini ye die obini cost work e wa o save. Then kuko the amount. That person doesn't need any God from anywhere. That God that that person need to be that great star is you. That person that is sitting beside you, you are that person's God. But what do we see? We have turned it to gossip and by biting. Obini ye die obini cost work as a result. So, I love the early church. In the book of Acts, the Bible said, the Bible said, this principle, the Bible said, those that have, they brought to the church. And it was shared. And it got to a time, nobody in the church lacks. What a joy that, let's say, in Battle Royals, there is nobody in Battle Royals that lacks anything. If you think about that, look at how happy it will be that you will be in a church or in your family house or among your friends. But that can happen alone 
if we have that sense of belonging, if we have that sense of supporting each other, if we have that sense of knowing that the next person sitting beside us, we are the one to raise that person. Yeah, 
but you need a counselor. That's your destiny ever. Maybe you have what all it takes to survive in business, but you don't have a business idea. You need somebody to give you that idea. That's your destiny ever. Maybe you have the whole voice for ministry, but you don't have a coach. You need a coach. That's your destiny ever. Maybe you have the certificate, first class, second class upper, second class lower, third class, but you don't have any connection for that certificate to be useful. You need a destiny helper. You are praying. You are telling God, Father, before this month and this year goes to an end, we list a destiny helper. Let us say, Lord Jesus, as I clap my hands and pray, Lord, we list a destiny helper. Lift up your voice and pray. Let that destiny help her be released. Makada gada ga, isa gada 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 ga, imbra kata zekatos. We list that destiny help her. Let that destiny help her be released. Masu kata bra kate, iman dege de bro si anta, iseke de de bro sekete, iya gada da sekete. Ilegra gada godokos rapapa zaka eyagada bose lift up your voice and pray say father we release that destiny helper let that destiny helper be released let that destiny helper be released let that destiny helper be released rikada ga zekada eyagada ga zekada eyagada ga zekada Lord, let the destiny of her be released. We list my destiny of her. Father, 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 we list my destiny of her. Lord, we list my destiny of her. Lord, we list my destiny of her. Imagada Zegatosa. Father, we list, we list, we list. We list, we list, we list, we list. Lord, we list, we list, we list. Lord, we list, we list, we list. Father, we list, we list, we list. Father, we list, we list, we list, we list. Let my destiny help me with this. Let the man of my destiny, the man of my dreams, the woman of my destiny, the woman of my dreams, the child of my destiny, the child of my dreams. Let the child be released. Imba kadaga, iya kadaga kadaga, rika ba sekata, imba kadaga kadaga, aleke deke deke, aya kadaga kadaga, iya kadaga kadaga, aleke deke deke, rakada bana ba, iya kada bana ba, ripa ba ba, oh ada da 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 da, rika da ba ba ba, iya kada ba. I love the bear. 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 Let that destiny of her be released, oh God. We release that destiny of her. I love the girl. I love the girl. Rap up, papa. The man who need to introduce me. Let that man be released. The woman who need to introduce. Me. Let that woman be released. The man who need to connect me. Let that man be released. The woman who need to connect me. Let that woman be released. The man who need to expose me. Let that man be released. The woman who need to expose me. Let that woman be released. Oh God, I need you. I need a destiny of her. Let that destiny of her be released. Somebody lift up your voice. Cry out. To God, let your destiny of her be released. Rapapa, in Sakada, in Makata, in Sebedebe, in Lake Rakata, a Lake Ade, in Sakada, a Rapa, in Yakadaba, in Sikada, a Rapa Daba, in Yakada, in Sikade, a Lebrakato, in Sakata, a Lebrakato. Isakata, a lebrakato, 
Zakata, a libra cato, is a cata, a libra cato, is a cata, a libra cato, is a cata, a libra cato, is a cata. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. 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 Rakada, is a cata, is a cata. Isakada, 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 in the name of Jesus. We are praying. God is telling me something. There is somebody. Just need someone to sign that form to give an approval, and your promotion will come. You just need that man to do that. God is telling me that someone you have applied and applied and applied and applied and applied. You just need somebody, it's just a man or a woman, to say, Take this certificate of yours, go and give it to. And you have the job. We are praying. We are praying once more about this destiny ever. You see, people take it for granted, but it's not for granted. There are some of you that you possess the voice that people. There are some of you that you have the knowledge that people, but they are all around because they have someone. If your father is a king, you will know what it takes to be a king's son. You are praying. You don't need to be all that knowledgeable to be a priest. You just need to be in the lineage of the king. We are praying. We are telling God once more that father will list that man. Father will list that woman. Father will list that destiny ever. Say, Lord Jesus, as I lift my voice again and pray, God, let my destiny ever in every area of my life be released unto me now. Lift up that voice of yours and let heaven hear your voice. Masuka tabrakatosa. Imagada da de 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 brosa, ibrakata zikata, iya gada da brose kete, rakada ba zi anta, izekete zekete zekete, izekete zekete zekete, izekete zekete izekete zekete, izekete zekete izekete zekete, izekete zekete izekete zekete. Is a good day, second day. 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 Rapapa, he got a bar, a leopard of her. He got a brosa, Ravadaba, he got a bar, he second a brasa, 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 lift up the voice of yours and pray, he second a brasa, he second a brasa, if you can blow, pick it to blow, he second a brasa, he break it, break it, break it, break it, he break it, break it, break it. Break it up, 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 break it up
Ogroka, Yegrika, is a Groka, is a Greka, Bragaka, Bregeka, Braganabra, 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 Bagara, 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 the presence of the Holy Ghost is here. I can see the angels uh, that answered prayer angels. Uh, I can see them be released now. Yes, the way is clear now. Yes, that angels are being released. They are being released. They are being released. Yes, 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 yes. I can see those angels now. They are all over here. They are the gates. They are the gates. They are the door. They are the altar. They are in the church. Uh, I can see them now. They are all over in this house. Uh, they are being with laser. Uh, my eyes are open and I can see them. Uh, I can see them touching you. My eyes are open and I can see them. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Somebody pray.
survive, you are surviving financially. But because you are heading into something, you are heading onto something that belongs to somebody. If I say belongs to you, it doesn't mean it will not work for you. God has given it to you. He blessed somebody, but you are refusing it. Because of that, you are facing troubles in some sector of your life. Prosperity is not only money. Prosperity is in every area of life. We are telling God, God, Father, any blessing that I have hold on to, as we have prayed for destiny ever, you are also supporting destiny ever. Any blessing that I have hold on to, that belongs to someone, but I have hold on to it, Father, release, let the people go, give me the grace and give me the heart to release. Say, Lord Jesus, my Father, my Maker, as I lift up my voice to pray, any blessing that belongs to someone that is with me, give me the grace and the heart to release it. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Makata zakatos, in makata zakatos, in makata zakatos, in makata zakatos. In Makata Zakatos, 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 in Makata Brakada Brakada, in Yakata Brokada 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 Brakada. Iyakada brokada bragada, Iyakada brokada bragada, Iyakada brokada bragada, Iyakada brokada bragada, Iyakada brokada brokada, Alekada na brosata, Ilekada na brosata, Alekada na brosata, Imakada brosata, Alekada na brosata, Alekada na brosata, Alekada na brosata, Izekada na brosata. Da grasa, e da grasa, 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 da grasa, I had an abrosa. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, give me the heart to release it. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Thank you.